Are Californians just simply destroying the real estate market in other states like Nevada, Arizona, Idaho, Texas, and Florida? Folks, I just watched a video where someone talked about the fact that California is destroying all these other housing markets because people are moving from California to all of these other states, driving up the price of real estate there. And then, well, we don't know what's gonna happen. So it's a great video. I'm gonna talk about it in just a second. It makes a lot of good points, but, and here's the big but, there are three main things that that video does not address, and I'm gonna talk about them here. So if you live in California, California, you're thinking of going somewhere else, or if you live in one of these other states where those pesky Californians are coming in and ruining your state and driving up the real estate prices, then you are going to want to watch this video all the way until the end. And by the way, if you're a buyer and you're looking to move and buy a house in one of these other areas, then you're going to want to make sure to check out this video. Let's go. Hey, what's up, my friends? I'm Danny Batsalkin. You can call me Dima because we're good friends already. And on this channel, I talk about real estate business and finance. I simplify those topics for you so you can make great decisions in those areas of your life. And if you're interested in doing that, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video on the channel. All right, guys, so let's dive right in. Just watched a video by a channel called Reventure Consulting titled, California is Destroying the housing markets in other states. You should check out the video, but in short, the premise really is that people from California who are used to these high housing prices are selling their homes, they're taking off from that crappy blue state and going to all of these other red states that have low housing prices, among other things. And so what they're doing is driving up the housing prices in those other areas. Video also talks about the fact that Californians are inherently bad real estate investors and so they overpay, they pay all cash, they drive up these home prices and then the people that are in these other places really are in a challenge because they get priced out of the market and then once the cycle continues, what happens is that people then move back to California. Now it's a great video because it had a lot of really cool charts and graphs like I like to do as well, talking about the fact that this is cyclical in nature, that this also happened between 2001 and 2006 when California became unaffordable, people left, they went and bought houses over there in places like Vegas and Phoenix and Dallas and Austin and stuff like that. And then when the housing prices in California came back down, those same people moved back to California. So in essence, I like what this video was saying. However, and this is a big but you guys, there are three important things that this video did not talk about and I am gonna address them here. And by the way guys, the reason that I'm making this video, as you know, I made a lot of California content on the channel because I live in California, but may not be for long because of everything that's happened here, starting with the pandemic lockdowns and the taxes and the business regulations and all of the other nonsense that is coming down in California. And don't get me wrong, guys, I love this state. I've lived here for most of my life. It's beautiful, it's awesome. We got parks, we got beaches, we got weather, we got girls, we got sports, we got all kinds of cool stuff. But unfortunately, the progressive policies of the last 20 plus years have absolutely ruined this state. And that is why we are seeing such a mass exodus of people leaving the state and going to all these other places that this other video talked about. So let's dive right in, guys. Let me give you the three reasons or the three things that were not addressed on this video that I think are extremely important. All right, you guys, so number one is the pandemic. So my friends, the pandemic, as you know, has caused a lot of people to really reevaluate their living situation. So I understand what this video was saying that this thing is really cyclical, that as real estate prices go up in California, people leave, as they go down, people come back. Well, look, that might've been true before. However, in the current state of affairs, during the pandemic, people like me realize that, hey, we can live anywhere and we don't have to put up with the BS in California. And so because of that, people have reevaluated where they live. See, a lot of people I believe in the past thought, well, there's a lot of bad things happening in California, but I kind of have to put up with it because the wages are high, so I have to live in the state to get those wages. Well, the pandemic really changed all that and shifted that mindset because people realized, hey, I can work from anywhere, so I can move to Vegas, buy a cheaper house and still work at my California company because they'll probably let me do that. Now, it's gonna be an interesting question as to how many people are allowed to continue to do that forever, but 
I think that that bell has been rung. And so many people that would not have otherwise left have left because they've reevaluated their living situation, they've reevaluated their job, and they have discovered that they don't need to be in California to earn California wages or even to work for a California company. That, you guys, has dramatically shifted the landscape of migration in the United States. As you know, California, well, as you probably know, California for the first time ever had a negative increase, or that should be a decrease. A negative increase would be a decrease. Had a decrease in population last year. And I believe that when this year's numbers come out, that's just going to get even worse because people are leaving here in droves for that one reason. The number two thing that wasn't talked about on that video that is extremely important to know of why this cycle is going to be different, in my opinion, is that this time companies and businesses are fleeing the golden state in record numbers. That is because California has the highest taxes, the most regulations, it's burdensome, it's the least business friendly state or the most unfriendly state, if I say that in the opposite, in the United States to do business in. Companies have simply figured that out and like I said before, companies used to think, hey, I got to be in California because this is where the talent is, I need to recruit, I got to be in, in California to do all these things. That's just simply not the case anymore and so companies are now fleeing to places like Arizona, Florida, Nevada, Texas, those states that are attracting those people and welcoming them with open arms. Now when companies leave, of course they take their current employees and then they also take their future employees. So that has also changed the landscape dramatically of this migration pattern that maybe in the past was cyclical, but I don't think is going to be for much longer. And third, you guys, is a very important thing that really wasn't covered there, which is that in the past, in past cycles, People really left California, as the video mentioned, because it wasn't affordable. Housing prices are too high. I have to leave because I can't really buy a house here. The thing that I've noticed with this mass exodus out of California is that it's very different. The people that are leaving are not the people that can't afford it. Yes, maybe they're leaving too, but a large majority of the people that are leaving are people that can afford it and that are choosing to leave for whatever reason. Politics, lockdown, school, woke, nonsense going on in corporations and in schools and in, in communities and things like that. So there are so many reasons now that people are leaving California and other blue states really to go to places like we talked about before and like we're talked about in that video, Texas, Florida, Idaho, Nevada, Arizona, because they want the better quality of life, right? And they want all of those things offered by those states. Yes, more affordable, and at the same time, they know that they can still run their business and they could still work for a company out here or if they're entrepreneurs, they could do their business in that other state. So this is extremely different than what we saw before. People are leaving. I have so many friends that have left California or that are thinking of leaving California that can afford it. They can afford to stay, but they've decided for their family, for their kids, for themselves to go to a different place that offers more. People are voting with their feet, you guys, and it is becoming very apparent that it's not just people that can't afford it. So for those three reasons, guys, what I want to say on this video is that I do not believe this is cyclical. I don't believe that when California home prices come down, which everything is a cycle, they will come down at some point, I do not believe that that same group of people is going to come back to California because they're going to realize that they love those other states. They love the quality of life. They love the low regulation, the low tax, the fact that the government doesn't want to try to regulate and control everything. And I don't believe that those people are going to come back. And I believe, I'm going to pull out my crystal ball and tell you that I believe that the population of California will continue to decrease unless things change in California. And of course, what can change in California is the types of policies and the types of elected officials that we have in the state. That of course maybe starts with the recall election, which Gavin Newsom has actually changed the rules on to his benefit. He now wants to have it sooner. He originally wanted to have it later, now he wants to have it sooner. So if you live in California and you're a California resident, make sure you vote in that election and vote to get rid of Newsom who doesn't really care about Californians. And if you've already left California, let me know in the comments below, would you consider coming back if the housing prices went down? And wherever you live, throw a comment down below and let me know what you think. You know, one of my favorite things about the YouTube channel is really interacting with you in the comments and chatting with you, and that's really what I love to do on the channel. 
But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today to another video. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. Check out these other two videos that I think you'll really like on the same topic, and I will see you on the next video. Oh wait, follow me on social media. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, I post almost every day. Go check out what I'm up to. Twitter, all the social channels, whatever you're into, I'll see you over there. You can even text me to join my private and exclusive text community. Okay, now I can say it. I'll see you on the next video.